Well, welcome everybody. Uh, look, I'm really excited to be here today to just kind of get us kicked off a bit. And uh, from the Black and Beach perspective, we started on these Ignite sessions some years ago as part of our growth accelerator. And that was really to fuel our growth, but also to make a difference around the globe. And our mission has been building a world of difference for some years. And we know to do that, we have got to be more innovative and we've got to push the edges on infrastructure because that's one of the slowest things to evolve if you look back over history. Been a lot of change, but it's typically been pretty slow. So our Ignite X program, our growth accelerator, has really been steered at accelerating the pace of change that Black & Veatch can deliver in our solutions to our clients around, around the globe. And we do that by internal ideas, but also reaching out to a partnering network. And everybody knows, you know, all the great ideas obviously are not inside Black & Veatch. We've got amazing talent. A lot of them are sitting here in the room today that are way smarter than me. And they're brilliant at what they do. But to really expand that and build on it, we've got to establish a really strong partner network. And as we developed the Growth Accelerator, we knew we needed to reach into the startup community to get the best ideas out there that we're ready to take to market and help move those to the market, help either validate them, prove them out, or provide a means for them to engage with our clients or other ways in the industry to put them to work and begin to scale them up. When we do that, we absorb and we learn a lot. We learn a tremendous amount from the startups that we work with that helps us be better at what we do. And this year's cohort, you know, as I look through the, the uh, types of technologies that we're looking at that embrace thoughts around the circular economy, decarbonization, resiliency, and sustainability, it really gets my blood pumping. I mean, it's, I can't imagine a better portfolio of companies for us to be working with and the ideas that are out there. They're really, really exciting, and I'm looking forward to you hearing more about them as, the, as we uh, proceed with the program here. But from my perspective, we, you know, we've worked with, this will be make it about 30-some companies, and this group that we're working with now is really exciting. You know, when you think about recycling clothing into raw materials, you think about the technologies we're going to hear about today to store energy or create hydrogen and green ways at efficiencies that heretofore haven't been available. Those kinds of things are what's necessary to move the world towards zero carbon. And those of you here today can hear about ways that that can happen. It can become real. This isn't make-believe. It's not something that can't happen. These are technologies that can change the world and change the climate. So with that, I'm going to hand it off to uh, Matt. You're coming up next. All right. Thanks. All right, so let's get started with our first cohort. I'm gonna bring up Jonathan Cristiani to introduce Next Hydrogen, our first uh, company. So give it up for Jonathan. Thank you, Matt. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. My name's Jonathan Cristiani. I have the extreme pleasure of serving as Black & Veatch's Bioenergy and Hydrogen Technology Manager. Um, and I'm very uh, excited to talk about um, our relationship with Next Hydrogen. Now, as many of you know, we have a long history uh, in the hydrogen industry. Um, we have uh, a lot of relationships that we've been building, strategic partnerships, but what makes Next Hydrogen so special is a combination of a novel technology and um, a, a, a good position in the marketplace to work with someone like Black & Beach to bring this uh, promising technology to the market. Now, part of what we're doing here in the first phase under Ignite X um, is looking specifically at balance of plant uh, design integration. That way they can focus on their core technology, the electrolyzer itself, and helping them do some of the application analysis that's needed to bring the technology uh, to market. So what this all will culminate in 
uh, is the submission of a grant application that we have one pagers um, if you care to take one and learn more about the program. Over the long term, we'll be working on you know, more major design uh, of plants, scaling the technology and, and bringing the, the, the combined uh, talents to um, a commercial market. And with that, uh, it's my pleasure to introduce Milan Yang, who is a uh, process engineering lead from Next Hydrogen. Thanks, Jonathan. Hi, everyone. My name is Milan, and I'm here on behalf of Next Hydrogen. We use our technology, our systems, to drive down the cost of producing clean hydrogen from renewable power because it is one of the crucial parts of a solution towards global decarbonization, which is definitely a goal that we all hold very dear to our hearts. Um, so I'm very excited to be here today and showcase some of the work that we've been doing with Black & Veatch as a part of the IgniteX project. Next Hydrogen is an OEM and turnkey solution provider for water electrolyzers and electrolyzer systems based out of Canada. This is actually a photo of our facilities that we just opened this year. Now, hydrogen electrolysis, um, the goal is to produce clean hydrogen with no GHG emissions using renewable power and water. And that, at our core, is what we do. We are technology developers. We design and fabricate our own electrolyzer stacks and balance of plant systems. And we also do ongoing product development and system optimization to bring down the cost of that product. But we're also systems, or sorry, we're also systems, um, systems service providers because we operate and we service our sites that are installed currently. Um, we train hydrogen techs, um, and we also participate in standards development because we know that there are concerns and questions around operating safely with hydrogen. Lastly, we're integrators. We focus on from the source of the power all the way through to the end user, uh, the requirements of each unique application because we want to deliver a system whether it's part of our core technology or incorporating third-party components that works for the application. Because an application that has a well-fit solution is what's going to keep the operating costs low for the long term. And we're all familiar with uh, how versatile hydrogen is. You can use it everywhere. But through our market analysis with Black & Veatch, we continue to identify a couple of key industries that we think are going to lead that shift. Predominantly, we see a need that resides in large-scale industry. So industries like ammonia synthesis and uh, petrochemical refining, these are industries with existing need for hydrogen. And currently, almost all of it is supplied by generation through carbon-based fuels like steam methane reforming. And there's also new industries, newer industries, I should say, like uh, in steelmaking, calcination, and all of these industries, when you look at clean hydrogen, that'll enable them to step away from finite fossil fuels. And electrolysis as a solution can help them diversify their assets, um, make them more robust for the future, and maybe allow them to leverage some green premiums on their product. The second leading industry is going to be heavy-duty material handling and transportation. This is where battery electrification is starting to see some challenges and applications in uh, long-haul trucking and in high-torque applications are really going to see the benefit of hydrogen, whether that's through fuel cells or even direct combustion. And electrolysis in these industries is also a good match because it enables distributed generation, which is a good fit for mobility applications. And so Next Hydrogen has designed our product to start addressing some of the challenges that these industries are facing in adopting electrolysis. The illustration in the middle there, that is our stack assembly. And we are currently working with an alkaline technology, which enables us to use commercially proven materials, establishing robust supply chains, and also keeping costs down However, we've made some internal changes. You can see that it's very different from the conventional design. We've brought the gas separation into the stack. The repeatability of the cell is gonna really allow us to optimize manufacturability 
again, keeping those costs down. And also, the internal flow paths allow us to achieve higher current densities than the conventional design, which means more hydrogen produced per unit area of active space. And so all of that is gonna keep the footprint small, it's gonna facilitate integration into existing industries and also for mobility distribution. And finally, that same design change is what gives us the ability to respond dynamically to intermittent renewables. So we can load follow the intermittent and variable signals from things like solar and wind, and being able to couple that uh, being able to directly couple electrolysis with renewable power is going to open up a lot of opportunities. It's going to make it more flexible for industries if you couple that with strategic storage, if they need continuous operation, but the renewables are intermittent. And it's also going to enable mobility applications if they need on-demand hydrogen. And our current objective now is scaling up. There are a lot of opportunities here to benefit from the economies of scale, and we're looking at it from two fronts. So the first would be, how can we scale up a unit stack? But we're also looking at how can we optimize a system for multi-stack installations? And so with Black & Beach, we've pulled together a representative 20 megawatt system, which is a good size to consider integrating into something like an existing ammonia process. Um, and this is something that could potentially supply not all but part of an existing demand because this isn't a change that's going to be 100% switch over overnight. Doing a phase development is going to really de-risk that shift and that's kind of how we see these large industries adopting it. But even at 20 megawatts, there's a lot of opportunities to optimize the supporting systems and those are lessons learned that can be transferred as these systems get bigger. But as a, at a certain point, you also have to look at the unit stack. And our product development right now is focused on taking our stack and turning it into a nine megawatt single stack. And that product development project is what we're hoping to have funded by the Sustainable Development Grant. Um, so in collaboration with Black & Beach, we are actually searching for a third consortium partner. And that is a partner with a need for hydrogen, an application that's suitable, a site uh, to host the demo installation, but most importantly, a partner with the same vision for green hydrogen on a massive scale. Thank you.